Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to day 31 of our Bible reading plan. We are reading through the Bible in one year, and I'm so glad that you've joined us on the journey together today. Super excited to hear your thoughts and reflections out of the passages of Scripture as you read through the Word and um, hear about how God is speaking to you. So feel free to comment below and share some of your thoughts and reflections as well. Um, I'd love to share some with you. So um, the first thing that really spoke to me out of these passages of Scripture was Firstly, in Psalm chapter 18, where David writes this, he says, I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God and my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised and I am saved from my enemies. As I was reading through this passage of scripture today, through this psalm, it just reminded me that David in this passage is drawing his strength from God. He's going to God and he's saying, God, you're my strength, you're my rock. You are my fortress. Everything that I need to protect me and to strengthen me in my life, I draw from you. And so today that was a great reminder to me to say, God, I am coming to you for strength. You are all the strength that I need and I draw strength and protection from you today. Um, I also loved in Matthew where Jesus comes up against all these people who are around the temple, who are making money, who are commercializing, you know, temple life and all this sort of stuff. And it says, and Jesus entered the temple and drove out all who sold and bought in the temple. And he overturned the tables. He's just flipping tables. He's had enough of the money changers and the seats um, of those who sold pigeons. He said to them, it is written, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you make it a den of robbers. And really what hit me out of this passage of scripture is that Jesus is saying, hey, you, you need to make sure that you're making the main thing the main thing. The focus of the house of God is that it's a house of prayer, it's a house of worship, it's a house where people should be finding the presence of God and all of this sort of stuff. And you know, there's a whole bunch of people who are really commercializing it and shifting the focus away from what really matters. And uh, so it was just a reminder to me today that as a, a Christian leader and as a pastor that we need to make sure that we are always um, putting making sure that the main thing is the main thing that we are focusing on those things which God has called us to focus on you know there's so many things that go on with Christian culture and great books and podcasts and all this stuff that we can listen to but when it becomes about that and the focus isn't on transformation and the focus isn't on God and the focus isn't on you know the presence of God and faith and prayer and all of those sorts of things we're losing our way so a great reminder to me today to keep the main thing the main thing to keep focused on the ministry that God has called me to and us to today I also loved in Job where um, in chapter in verse 25 of this passage of scripture um, Job says for I know that my Redeemer lives and at the last he will say upon he will stand upon the earth and after my skin has been thus destroyed yet in my flesh I shall see God whom I shall see for myself and my eyes shall behold and not another my heart faints within me. So even though Job is having this incredible struggle, he's going through suffering, he's going through pain, he has this incredible, amazing revelation, this powerful revelation, this messianic prophecy that he is prophesying, that he's speaking out this revelation of what is gonna happen in the end, that Jesus will be on the throne, that he will see God. He has this incredibly prophetic revelation of what God is gonna do in the end, that everything is gonna be okay. And so it reminded me today that no matter what we're going through, challenges or whatever we walk through, um, when we walk through them with God, when we walk through them with the presence of the Holy Spirit and reading the word, we can receive great revelation from heaven um, through these challenging times. So I would love to pray for us today, love to pray that God um, would speak to us, that we would draw strength from the presence of God, just like David did. And also that we would have great revelations, whether we're on the mountaintops or whether we're walking through the valley that we would have great revelation of what God is doing on the 
the earth, what he's doing in our lives and what he wants to minister uh, in and through us. So God, I just pray for my friend today. Holy Spirit, I thank you that as we're reading through the word together, God, would you speak to us? God, I pray that like David, you would be our fortress. You would be our rock. God, we would draw strength from you today, Lord God, where people are feeling tired and weary and weak. God, I thank you that we would draw strength right now. Holy Spirit, I thank you for an impartation of your strength because God, you are our rock. You are our fortress. fortress. You are our strength. You are our strong foundation today. And God, I just pray as uh, as Job prayed um, that he would have this revelation of who you are and that he would see you clearly. God, I pray as well as we're reading today that you would speak to us, that you would give us a great revelation of who you are and what you're doing in us and through us today. And I just pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for joining us. I'll catch you tomorrow uh, in our Bible reading plan. See ya.